Honorable Mente. Uh, Minister, um, Chairperson, I will take the, the question. Um, Minister, the way you speak uh, suggests a, a laissez-faire approach to it. I don't think you appreciate the harm you have caused to our people with this blackout. I think you must understand that there are weekends and weekdays where our people have not been able to watch soccer. They are not able to watch DSTV. And you, you, you speak like, you know, it's a by-the-way situation. Please, can you give it the, the density and the gravity that it deserves? Can you please apologize for what happened? Can you stand up and apologize and explain in detail what happened? Honorable, honorable Don't say member. it just happened. Speak honorable and member. speak with detail, please. Uh, as, uh, honorable member, may I... May, may I advise that let's, let's pose questions in such a way that uh, the ministers are able to, to respond. And in our questions, yeah, I'm not yet through, Honorable Mente, and in our questions, let us try to be respectful to other members of the House. Honorable sorry, Minister. Chair, sorry, Chairperson. I did not recognize you, sir. Chairperson. You, I, you are pronouncing yeah, on my you submission. Much, uh, you are pronouncing on my submission. I must call you to order. Because you are doing two things about what you are doing now. You are doing two things. One, you are saying I'm being disrespectful, which I was not, by the way. I was not being disrespectful. And if you don't understand the question, don't assume he does not understand the question. The you are not you in are, his mind. Will, Allow him to speak. I will, I will, I will and then only off. then can you come in. On a point of order, Honorable uh, Deputy Speaker, way. Honorable House Chairperson, on a point of order. On, honorable Member, can we treat on a point this of order, House honorable with the House respect Chairperson. that it deserves? Honorable House Chair, on a point of order. Honorable Member, I Thank you. Uh, Honorable Speaker, my point of order is that the Honorable Member is misleading the House by saying the Minister's action is harming our people out there. So that is a misleading statement. He should have asked, he should have asked his follow-up question, not to make that statement. I thank you. Thank you, Honorable Member. May, may, I, respond, may I respond just before you do? Chairperson. Just before you do, may I respond? Thank you, Honorable Member, for having raised that. But uh, I would not like to judge on the accuracy of the member's remarks. Uh, rather, we would use other mechanisms available to, um, to other members to address that. But I was also wanting to address the Honourable Member there. Honourable Member, it is a condition that in our, in our questions, let us not use words that are disrespectful. Let us address each other in a respectful manner. You, on you have point of all, order, Chair. Can you, can you sit down, Honorable Member? I'm addressing another member. Can you sit down? I have made a request, and I request that it should be observed. As we pose questions, as we pose questions, we should be respectful to each other. Chairperson, I, I, I think your tone. I, I did not to, recognize you, you Honorable you, Member. Could you, you please sit down? <laughs> honorable Mentor, what is your honorable problem? One, let me address you, Chair. Number one, you on spoke. Which, on which rule are you addressing me? Rule 92. You, you first spoke. And you acted as if you are in the mind of the minister. The member over here was afforded an opportunity to ask a question. Honorable he asked member, a question. 
Thank you. Number two, you are implicating that he has uttered words that are not parliamentary. We want to know uh, which thank ones. You. Thank you. And number member. three, let me address the deputy chief whip. If you appreciate social cohesion, Honorable you will member, understand I did not what give harm you the right to do did that. the absence of sport, especially soccer on our TVs, did to our people. Honorable member, honorable members, we have a duty in this house to respect the decorum of the house. The manner in which we go about it, the manner in which some of us go about it, it's not correct. Where were we, by the way? <laughs> Honorable, Honorable Chief, member, why are you rising? My hand was up, and you look to me and you don't want to note me. You said that the Honorable uh, Pambo was disrespectful chair. I'm avoiding a situation for you to come to this house again like you did yesterday with your tail between your legs and apologize again on a wrong member. ruling that... On a point of order. Honorable members. On a point of order. Okay, I'll rise, honorable member. The statement just made by the honorable member that you'll come back with your tail between your legs is unparliamentary because we don't have animals in this house. We have human beings. So it was a good thing for you to make that ruling on the issue of the mini plenary yesterday. Thank you. It's called a metaphor. It's a metaphor. It's not an insult. It's a metaphor. It's a figure of speech. Honorable members. Honorable members, order, please. Honorable members, order, please. Honorable members. Honorable members. Point of order. Point of order. It is unparliamentary. That is a ruling. I have ruled on that. It is unparliamentary. If you are not happy with that, you know the processes that you should follow. Thank you very much. Honorable member, please sit down. I want to continue. Point of order. I want to continue with this. Point of order. Chairperson, uh, you know, if everything in this house uh, would be unparliamentary, we, it's impeding on our freedom of speech in this house. When they say, with your tail between your legs, it is a figure of speech, it's a metaphor. You, you, you can't say it is unparliamentary, no animal was mentioned. I, I mean... Point of order. Can, can we please have a change in the seat so that we can proceed? Since you came to that seat, you've been messing up the whole process. Honorable members, thank you very much. Honorable uh, Chairperson, I rise on a point of order. Can I, can I just address this okay, member? Thank you. Honorable members, we have a right to speak. We have that right to speak. We have that right, but we must always know that that right is also subject to the rules of the House. That you should take into consideration. Thank you very much. Honorable Sir. Thank you very much, Honorable Chairperson. Honorable Chairperson, you have made a ruling. And the rules say that when you make a ruling, we accept the ruling. We don't debate the ruling of the Chair. 
If you are unhappy about your ruling, there are processes in terms of our rules where we can take this up in the Rules Committee. We set aside three hours to call the executive to account, and we've got 20 minutes or so now on points of order. But my appeal is that let us get on with holding the executive to account so that they can answer questions. When, because when they don't do that, then we also take umbrage with that. So my appeal, Honorable Chairperson, that we proceed with the Minister answering the follow-up question. Thank you. All right. Thank you very much, Honorable Singh. Honorable Minister.